spectacular win by the Mahayuti. Questions are now being raised as to what went wrong in the INDIA block. Particularly after the performance in Lok Sabha, there was high expectations with the Mahavikas Agari in Maharashtra. But what went wrong? They, did not, they could not even get 50 seats in the state. That's a question that's now being asked. But amidst all of this, of course, Sanjay Raut, the Shiv Sena spokesperson, that Shiv Sena UBT spokesperson, has now questioned the EVM, saying that they are not accepting the mandate of the voters, and voters would also not believe this kind of mandate. In fact, they've gone further and questioned, saying that there should be a ballot-based system for polling and not EVM. So the question again arises on blame being put on the EVM for their losses, to which we've seen how the leaders from Mahayuti have said that they've accepted the Jharkhand defeat as uh, sportingly, but why is it that the INDIA bloc cannot do the same? Of course, the question now goes back to the EVM. But speaking about these, now one needs to really understand as to what really went wrong in the INDIA bloc. During the Lok Sabha elections uh, in Maharashtra, Congress had managed to secure 13 seats, which was a drastic increase from the one in uh, 2019. However, uh, followed by which was nine seats uh, of uh, the Shiv Sena and eight of the Sharatwar faction. Sharatwar had a strike rate of almost 80% because of the 10 seats yet contested. When it comes uh, to the Congress now, of the 101 seats that they contested for the Vidhan Sapa, they've managed to only win 14 of them. On the other hand, in 2019 Vidhan Sabha elections, they managed to secure 40 seats of the 147 they contested. The question now arises as to what led to the fall in this kind of a win. Also, the question about the real Shiv Sena and the real NCP now goes to the hands of Eknath Shinde and also Ajit Pawar because they because the biggest winner today now seems to be the Ajit Pawar faction in the Lok Sabha elections. He managed to win only one seat and questions were being raised on him for having lost Baramati. Today, with the spectacular performance that he has, Ajit Pawar clearly comes out to be one of the leaders with 41 seats that he's won. The biggest loser here, of course, seems to be Sharatwar faction with just 10 seats that they've, that they've won, particularly because now the questions are being raised whether the decrease in vote share of Congress and the seats is directly proportional to the win for Ajit Pawar. Now, that is one of the questions that's being raised. But analysts believe that one of the reasons why uh, the INDIA bloc could not perform well was because they went into confidence more after the Lok Sabha election. Particularly, they could not really gain the confidence of the voters after the Lok Sabha election. In Lok Sabha, a narrative that was set forth by the Mahavikas Agari was uh, the uh, whole constitution being under threat by the Mahayuti. Now, that was the narrative that was being set by them. Of course, when it comes to Vidarbh, Vidarbh was one of the key areas apart from that also. The areas of North Maharashtra were key areas to have contributed towards the win of the Mahavikas Agari in the Lok Sabha election. However, here, the whole Maratha issue which was going against the Mahayuti was in fact addressed by the Chief Minister himself with this, uh, with this question being put forth in the Vidhan Sabha as well and trying to bring a resolution to it. When it come also, uh, when we speak of the Mahavikas Agari, that narrative of the farmers when it comes to Vidarbha was not resolved. In fact, the farmers not being safe with Mahayuti was uh, then changed, the narrative was then changed by the Mahayuti with giving that kind of farmer loans. When it comes to the Latki Bhain Yoja, which has worked tremendously well in the favour of uh, the Mahayuti, uh, the opposition had also questioned this very Yojana, gone to the court against this very Yojana and ended up putting that in their manifesto to show and propagate the same Yojana. So here, it was nothing but trying to question the schemes of the of the current uh, of the uh, current ruling government and trying to portray them again as their own. Also, when it comes to the uh, Mahavikas Agari, there were infighting that was to be uh, that uh, that was quite visible in the run-up to the Vidhan Sabha elections. When it comes to uh, seat sharing distribution, they were of course way ahead of uh, the Mahayuti to uh, try and understand the seat sharing. But there were disputes over several seats which uh, though of course were uh, resolved but they were not amicably settled. When you compare both the uh, alliance partners, 
though uh, the Mahavikas Agari went further to start announcing seats and work on the seat distribution patterns, over several seats which were friendly fights, uh, the leaders in the Mahavikas Agari could not come to an amicable consensus, leading to the uh, vote share being divided. When it comes to the um, high UT, they tried to minimize uh, the, uh, the friendly fights as much as possible and try to come, and come to an amicable solution. Case in point being several leaders switching from one of the ruling parties to the other one. Particularly taking the example of China NC when it comes to uh, comes to Mahay UT, switched from BJP to uh, the Shiv Sena Eknath Shinde faction also because uh, the seats that the party was demanding were to be kept by them and, uh, and that should not have led to infighting. Whereas that was not the case with Mahavika Sagari. In order to get those very seats, uh, uh, there was an infighting and to amicably reach for consensus is where some of the seats were given which had less probability of the win. Again, case in point being Vidarbha. In Vidarbha particularly, uh, Congress had more chances to fight and contest against the BJP. But on the other hand, when it comes to uh, the uh, Shiv Sena UBT, Uddhav Thakre was firm on contesting those 8 to 9 part seats in Vidarbha. Now, Vidarbha had the highest margin of 62 seats and the, post and the party who would have gotten Vidarbha's those seats would have easily been able to form the government in the state. But because of the infighting between the two alliance partners, uh, uh, in, in fact, because of two alliance partners, this seats which went to the UBT could have cost uh, Mahavikas Agari dearly. Also, the infighting between the alliance partners, uh, them not being able to come to a consensus when it comes to seat sharing. There were several instances wherein uh, Sanjay Raut had made strong statements against Nana Patole, particularly when he made those strong statements, the fighting between the two alliance partners were out and open. And which is where, because these two, uh, le the, uh, these two parties were not able to come to consensus on seat sharing, was where leaders from Delhi had to intervene. Uh, this was particularly uh, a way of uh, the washing your dirty linen in public, something that of course the Mahayuti was also facing, but it did not come out openly in front of the people. Here, the question of course arises about uh, about the voters not being confident with the Congress, and which is where uh, they saw a similar fate in Haryana election. 